and welcome to another episode of our special series beating all odds in this series we are bringing to you leaders who despite so many challenges thrown at us by covid-19 and despite four weeks of lockdown now are ensuring that businesses stay on track at least to whatever extent it is possible and are contributing to our economy with me today is one such leader mr pavan jeltani chief revenue officer nine x media welcome to the show mr jeltani hi 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 nazia uh good afternoon perhaps and uh, i know thought that we'll 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 have a interaction like this but uh, that is how the world has changed in the last uh, month or so the whole uh, pattern has changed and but good to see you through this call we never Maybe. thought that we'll have interaction like this actually how are you being we're meeting all, everyone all, virtually these days okay uh-huh. right. uh, so sir yes. um, i am good hope you 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 in good health i mean you look Yeah, I think I think, I think uh, we we all are taking care of ourselves because uh, uh, as as a industry leaders we need to uh, maintain a good health so that we can look after other people and we can communicate the same to across teams that you know the health is the first priority right now. I know businesses have got hit uh, in a, in a in a in a big way in the last month or so. The whole paradigm has shifted in the last month or so. but uh, i i believe health is very important that each one of us need to take care of our physical health and more importantly mental health because of this lockdown for so long which another thing this lockdown has done is increased our tv consumption uh, that's what all bark data and adx data everyone every all the data is hinting and it's obvious that you know everyone is at home they're watching a lot of tv how has this uh, had an impact on music genre See, I'll tell you what, uh, Nazia. Overall, uh, pre-lockdown also, pre-lockdown one or two weeks. Uh, if you see overall TV viewership has been on a growth path in the last uh, last post uh, post that NTO happened last year, right? Uh, post that FTA regime started last year, uh, especially for FTA channels, TV growth has been there in terms of viewership. now since everyone is under under house arrest no one is going out we are under severe lockdown severe severe lockdown uh this is bound to happen actually right and uh, yeah there has been roughly if if i understand numbers properly there has been overall tv growth has been roughly around 46 to 48% uh viewership growth has been overall on across all genres now uh, out of each genre uh gc has gone on repeat mode unfortunately because of you know they are not able to shoot new episodes and uh they are not able not to churn the new new content and all that but if you see rest other genres whether it's a news or movies or in that case music and kids we have seen a decent growth right even on the music also if you see we have seen uh, if you compare it pre and post covid actually covid 19 we have seen roughly around Six to ten percent growth, you know, in terms of viewership, actually, overall, actually. If you if you specifically talk about my network, I think we have seen a decent growth. We have uh, the the best part is we have been able to stabilize also. There has not been a decline, but there has been a moderate growth of six to ten percent. However, quite obvious that obviously news will grow because the news consumption has been uh, very good in the last month or so, for obvious reason that because all of us tend to watch news because there's a lot of Anxiety. There's a lot of uh, that uh, uncertainty in when... the environment and all that. Yeah. So, so there has been. Uh, but the good part is that there are other genres also which have seen a decent growth. While news has dominated it because news growth has been much much higher. Right. One is that. Second is the overall environment is such that uh, news has come into forefront in terms of viewership and all that. Uh, and plus, the since base was not so high. so you can say it has grown into say 200% or 300% and all that you know that kind of person but base has not been so equal no not has not been so great if you compare it with gc is not but if you see music specifically uh music post that fta regime last year music reach has been extremely strong it it has been perhaps even higher than uh, uh, news or higher than even movie channel to certain extent in certain markets and all that uh but yeah having said that coming back to the same markets, which would be these markets 
largely, largely those, uh, largely HSM markets and uh, uh, mostly uh, non-urban markets also. If you see, reach has been very good because of our FTA. We have been on free dish. Uh, we have been on across all DTS platforms and all. But yes, uh, news has seen the maximum growth. Uh, I believe that it's primarily because we're all anxious. We need updates. We need to see what uncertainty is surrounding us. So people tend to watch news and all that. But that doesn't mean that other genres haven't grown. And if you see, if, even GC is also, even DD has grown actually. Because they, they have put a uh, Ramayana and Mahabharata. I mean, that has grown. So has people become number one general, channel. It has become number one channel. So people in general are watching TV. Uh, people in so, general if are... I come are back to music, if I come back to yes. music, uh, what kind of consumption trends uh, have you observed during this lockdown? Is, is there any change in the way we, people were consuming your channels before and now? See, uh, uh, largely if you see music, our prime time used to be uh, in the mornings uh, because we run a break-free uh, kind of a slot in the morning, right? Break-free, uh, actually, you have back-to-back -back music and this, this applies across all music channels and all. Uh, so obviously we have seen uh, that growing to a large extent, but we have seen other time slots growing much, much higher in terms of, uh, you know, consumption and all that, right? Uh, so so that, that, that's one thing. Second, what we have consciously done, what we have consciously done around this time, you know, if you, if you see 9XM, which is my main uh, flagship channel, actually, uh, we generally used to run a very upbeat, dance-centric music, actually, very upbeat, youth-centric music, which is high-intensity music we used to run, actually. So seeing the mood mapping around this time, seeing the sentiments around the country, which is going through, or globally we're going through. Uh, so we have, we have toned down the tone of the music right now, right, for some time, primarily because people will not tend to dance this time. People will not tend to see much, much more, more upbeat music, actually. So because of that also, we have seen time spent going up for certain slots, for certain time slots, for certain time bands, we have seen much, much time slots going up. But coming back to what, what consumption pattern has changed, if my 40% GRPs used to come from certain time slot in the morning, uh, now there are a large portion of GRPs coming in the evenings or the afternoons also or late nights also. So the audience has got spread across the channel actually to consume the music because everyone is locked down under lockdown and everyone's seeing it actually so so i think that 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 that's 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 a good trend actually but also, have you changed said, your programming i mean have you have you tried to uh, do any kind of new mix uh, with your programming right now or you're continuing see, with the same pattern being being a music channel and where the core audience is youth and we we used to, I mean, we, we keep reinventing playlist, curate music every now and then, actually, right? As I said, with current situation, with current sentiments, which is going uh, within society or the kind of health problems we are facing across across the globe, actually, we have we have toned down the overall upbeatness of the music right now, to a large extent, actually, to match the mood mapping of the audience right now. And we have got a fantastic reviews on that and and that because of that certain times time spent has gone up uh, in certain time bands and all but having said that i think overall genre has grown close to six to ten percent increase in the viewership actually right while news has grown certain extent to a large extent what movies have grown and even music has grown around six to ten percent so uh, i mean ten years ago music channel be it yours, be it MTV or any channel, were like far more uh, in demand by, I mean, amongst youth also and everyone. But now, uh, how much has these these apps like Savan, Ghana, Spotify, have had, had an impact, direct impact on your business? Or maybe I don't know if it hasn't had, had any impact. See, I'll tell you what, uh, 10 years back, or five years back, music as a space, music as a genre, music TV, music television network, which is audio visual, we used to be treated as a frequency network because we used to de de deliver frequency and all that, right? It was more of a snacking issue. But with overall TV penetration going, with overall youth population growing, with 
multiple uh, that music taste uh, spreading across the society and all that. Today, music as a space or music as a genre is treated as a proper reach channel because we deliver reach, right? We deliver reach to large extent. I am perhaps if you see Nine X Media or overall music, if you see overall music as a as a genre reaches close to three hundred million households. I mean that that that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of reach we have today in music. So, so you're music, saying despite all these challenges, you still have a have a very large base and a large. I'll tell you whether it's a streaming, whether it's a OTT, whether it's any form of music, whether it's through YouTube or another form of music and all that. Every medium pushes the it it push the overall space in music action. That is what it has done. Whether it's a Ghana or Savan or Spotify, it has pushed overall consumption of music. Uh, in India, actually, and it has really helped us, actually, right? So, and one is that. Second is general tendency in India is that until unless you will not see Salman Khan dancing, you will not feel the song, right? So that is what TV as a medium delivers. That third, I think, overall, when TV penetration has grown considerably in India, actually, music. Uh, was one of the first one of the first genre which has which has penetrated very well actually, and I think to large extent you should uh, give credit to Nine X Network to large extent because we have penetrated across urban and rural, across India we have been we have been very uh, clear that uh, our distribution strategy has to be very clear we have to be across all DTA we have to be across all touch points, so that has that has helped overall genre and that has helped us also in terms of consumption now right. So I disagree with you that you know ten years back, this, perhaps ten years back, scenario was very different. Actually, the, the, even the marketers used to treat us like like a, a frequency channel. Today, marketers or brand heads treat or agency guys or a or a or a head of brand treat us like a proper reach channel because this channel delivers or this medium or this genre delivers a proper reach, a substantial reach, which is which is which is uh, which is very important actually, right? So so. So overall, genre has grown to large extent, and all these streaming companies, all these OTTs, have helped quite a bit to populate the concept of music. So that 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 has helped quite a bit. Yeah, it's it's like uh, when news channels came in, uh, the readership of print media also went up because the overall interest in news increased. So you you're talking on similar lines. It's 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 yeah. Obviously, see the what 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 is important that. Eventually, whether it's a uh, whether it's a TV channel or a streaming or a news channel or a music channel, you deliver audience, right? And uh, brands buy audience, right? Eventually, when brand does a marketing plan or a the agency does a planning, they buy audience. Actually, if you deliver a substantial reach audience, you are in the game, right? And so, all what these kind of brands are investing in you right now? I mean, because most of the production houses are shut. So, what kind of brands are still advertising with you? See, I, overall, as I said, overall TV consumption has grown by forty-six to forty-eight percent. But unfortunately, uh, your edX has degrown uh, roughly in terms of volume by around twenty-eight percent, right? In terms of volume, but when it comes to value, it will further degrow. Actually. So, because of this pandemic, because of this overall global scenario, what has happened, which got hit in India also because of lockdown, uh, situation is not 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 so great. It's pretty bad in terms of uh, you know brand investing right now. Yeah, there are brands, there are minimum brands happening right now. If you, if you see, there are close to if roughly there are five thousand brands, uh, five to six thousand brands in India. There are. Not more than not more than seven or eight brands advertising right now. So I think I think because of this lockdown, because of economy going for a toss, uh, the huge problem in terms of supply chain, uh, supply is not happening. So yeah, a lot of brands have restrained. Majority of brands have restrained from advertising at this point in time. Which, if you if you ask me, ideally should have been that uh, since viewership is huge, uh, consumption patterns are huge right now. Time spent has gone for TV. I think this should have been the right time for brands to advertise, but I'm hopeful that uh, we will see some improvement uh, in coming days or in coming months. But 
yeah, there has been, there has been, there has been a major, 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 major problem in the last month or so. Actually. So I, I mean, this year has been very difficult for your industry. Uh, with January came in NTO2. So while you were still struggling with that, then came the COVID-19. Uh, what is the status of NTO2 right now? I mean, do you think... Uh, not, the... not only this year. If you if you see, Nazia, uh, last year FTA regime came in. I mean, that disrupted the whole ecosystem for a month or two months. Uh, NTO1 were... came in. NTO1 came in. And that when, when it came in, when there was a transition happening, uh, it disrupted the complete industry for almost two months, right? And then there was an ec economic slowdown in the country, actually. There, were GS, there was GST, there was demonetization. So last few yeah, years so have been pretty bad. The last three, four years has been, uh, has been, has been quite a But not as bad as this lockdown. <laughs> not as bad as this. This has been, this has been, this has been worst. Uh, extremely worse. Extreme worse, so, actually. This has been so what I want to ask you is that in this current it. situation, now that you've been hit back to back by different things is it time for a uh, try to consider that nto2's implementation maybe should be put on hold until broadcasters recover from this crisis of covid-19 it should be because there's no logical sense to enforce it at this point in time because uh, we just first we had just had to come out of this Right. So first, we just got to come out of this. And I think this this uh, current situation will take at least three to four months to get normalized. Growth, I don't see how we see growth and all that, but I think this will take at least three, four months minimum to normalize things, to see that how things are shaping up and how we plan things way forward and all that. So I think, I think uh, we don't need uh, another disruption. We don't need a disruption on top of another disruption, actually. And uh, yeah, it should be avoided. And uh, I don't think my my assumption is I I, I think that will take a backseat for some time uh, because we're just as an industry we're just putting nuts and bolts in place first. Uh, we have been now it's been almost 45 days we have been under lockdown, 40 days under lockdown now. And there and, is there is little hope that it will open anytime soon. And surprisingly, you know what? Uh, we were just coming out of this uh, slowdown last year. We barely managed last year to some extent, and we were planning for this year now. All business plans were made. All as an industry, we made projections for this year. We we thought that second half of the year will be very good. We thought first year will be will be slightly better than the first quarter of uh, this year and all that. And then within a month, everything changed. Everything changed. I think all our projections, all our business plan, everything went for a toss actually. But surprisingly, you know what? Uh, I've been, I've been, I've been talking to uh, my teams. I've been discussing with my teams. I've been talking to people across. I've been talking to multiple brand heads. Surprisingly, you know, no one, you know, this this whole crisis started uh, way back in December, and it by by I think mid March or by first week of March, it had already hit close to hundred plus countries, right? 100 plus countries by first week of March, it had hit, right? 100, 100, 90 to 100 countries, exactly as per my data. Even by end of March, we never predicted that it will be so bad. And at least for the next three, four, five, six months will be a washout. So I think as an industry, both from a broadcaster or an agency or a data people, the first thing, what the biggest learning for all of us is that, uh, that we need to see a future. We need to we need to predict it well. We need to see that a world is very small. Uh, if something happens in say California, it affects India as actually. Well. India as well actually. So I think I think that's something as a, as an industry we need to make a data analytics a foolproof. We need to see future. We need to predict it rightly because as 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 a company, I predict something that first half or second half of the year will be. Uh, will be decent or will be at least 10, 15, 20 percent better than last year. Actually. But uh, in a span of uh, three, four, ten days, everything changed. Right. Uh, so I think that, that that's one one big learning for all of us that uh, you know, despite uh, that we uh, all of us have our international networks, we have international offices, we have people staying in US, we have people staying in uh, South Asia, Singapore, and all that. We want to be able to collate or develop that something big is hitting us, right? 
and uh, I think it start crashing in the last 10, 10, 12, 15 days, right? So, so that that's that's one learning. I think I think we should we should we should we should be able to see future that how we predict and how we, uh, you know, reframe our businesses going forward. Before we close, Pavan, I want to understand from you. You your your uh, channel has seen a growth of six to ten percent. Uh, we are all still at work. How are you keeping yourself and your team motivated in these times? See, to be honest, when this lockdown started, uh, I think for one week everyone was under shock because I have never seen a situation like this. I have seen multiple recessions. I have seen multiple economic uh, falls and downturns and all that. Perhaps, uh, uh, you know, for all the audience who are, who are watching this, I must tell that 9X Media, we built this company when there was a financial recession in 2008, 2009. Right? Uh, so, one, I think it's not that companies or brands can't be built under uh, when there's a recession, actually, when there's an there's a economic downturn, right? So we have seen, at least I have seen, but this, this is something, this is, this is as my, uh, uh, you know, everyone says that this is as big as World War I and II combined, right? That the, 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 the effect is so, 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 so much. As my boss rightly says, that it's a black swan event, actually. Right. And uh, so first couple of days, we're not able to figure out that what happened. I mean, what does this lockdown mean? I mean, for the first time, I, have, I, heard, I heard the word lockdown. You know, when country is under complete seas, you can't go out. Actually. But uh, then you, you need to pick up pieces and you need to understand. You need to uh, see the future. You need to uh, lead the team. And uh, what is more important at this point in time is that uh, the courage is very important, right? Uh, so you need to show a lot of courage to stand in 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 midst of these crises, actually. And obviously, uh, it's a general. I mean, you know, it's not that during these crises we motivate team. I think our industry is a people-driven industry, and uh, it's a, it's a it's a huge capital for us. People is a capital for us. People is investment for us, actually. So, for, for most thing for us is that uh, we we not only motivate them, we we I communicate with them. I make sure that each and every member of the team is mentally very strong, right? Because it's easy to get little disoriented because of these crises and these rejections and gloomy environment setbacks. Even you read and. Uh, watch news every day, you see complete negativity, which is which is fact also because that's happening around the world actually. So I strongly uh, believe and I tell this to my team that, yeah, there is a setback, the situation is bad in the ground, but I think we will come back. It's, it's a matter of two, three, two, three months, or four months. We need to be patient. We need to be courageous this time. We need to sail through these times right now. But I still remember brands are built, companies are built. When 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 there's a, I mean, perhaps 9x, 9X was built around, uh, as, I, as I said, that 9X was built around 2008, 2009. And we built this company and rest is history. I mean, we're today um, a much, much, much bigger brand what we, we have never thought. We never thought that it will one day when we start in 2008, 2009. So yeah, communication is very important. Yeah, when 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 you need to communicate to people and keep motivating them, you have to be you have to come out completely transparent, and we all have to be on the same page. So once you do this proper communication, be complete transparent with team. Uh, you don't need to give a spiel, or you don't need to generally for the sake of uh, you know motivate them. Actually, you need to put things in perspective. You need to show them the future. You need to show them that. Nothing can go wrong below this now. I think there will be upward trend only now. Hopefully. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and we're a small team and we work like a family. And uh, you need to show a lot of compa compassion and affection, affection at this point in time. The way you show it to family. Right? I think rest things fall in place actually. And when you have a belief and you make them uh, understand that things will turn around, things will come back. I think I think to large extent uh, 
people get motivated people see the future in that sense thank you so much pavan for speaking to us this was really inspiring and insightful there's a lot that we have learned about uh, you know how to keep your employees motivated and also about what is exactly happening in the industry right now thanks again thank for speaking you. to exchange thank for media we wish you good health stay at home until this crisis is over and stay safe thank you very soon, much soon soon i think i think the crisis will be soon over i will we will be back we'll have a not a virtual meeting we'll have a meeting or yeah a definitely definitely obviously with, a, obviously with a social distancing and all that for some time <laughs> but i think i think we'll be we'll be, we'll be back as a, as an industry i think i believe that we'll be back in a much 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 bigger way and in a much more substantial way thank you thanks thanks nazia always thanks. pleasure always thanks thank you again. thanks a lot thanks, thanks.